this mistake will cost you tens of thousands of dollars over this bull market. And I guarantee that 99% of you are making this mistake right now. If you're not buying coins that are doubling in value each week like BVM here, then you're missing a trick. Finding coins like this is extremely easy, but you're getting blinded by something you probably never even heard of. In this video, I'm gonna tell you two key secrets that you must be aware of. And by understanding this, you're gonna rise above the 99% of other people who are falling into this trap. Not only that, but by sticking around to the end of this video, we're gonna research a couple of new coins that could be some of the most exciting opportunities over the next few weeks. Hit that like button and let's get into today's video. Now guys, this might feel a little bit similar to a video we made last week where we actually talked about BVM when it was down here and since then it's absolutely skyrocketed. And in this video, we're gonna refine the technique that we used to find coins like this don't you worry. But before we do, I want to find out and teach you the secret behind what is screwing you in crypto right now. Now, this here is a tool called TubeBuddy and you don't need it. You don't need it at all. Okay, but I'm going to show it to you because it's really important. If you're getting all of your advice on a daily basis through YouTube about crypto, there's a big reason that you're getting screwed. Now, TubeBuddy is a tool that new YouTubers particularly use to identify keywords to get search traffic. And this might seem a bit boring, but stick with me. It's very important. Now, when you have a more established channel like mine, then you have a bit more free license to talk about other things because you'll appear on home pages, browse results, etc. But if you are targeting search results, then what you're going to do is target certain keywords. For example, Casper, you can see has massive search volume, but you can also see the 679,000 videos on Casper. Internet computer, absolutely ludicrous search volume on internet computer and various other coins out there. What's the biggest problem with this? I hear you cry. Well, why as a YouTube content creator would I create videos on anything new or interesting when all of the people are just searching for a particular topic? Those YouTubers will then tell you more and more hype and excitement about those coins in order to compete for your attention on those particular topics to the point that you are literally a groupie for that particular coin and all you want to talk about and all you want to see is internet computer, Casper, Jasmine, whatever it might be. And this is really unfortunate because the biggest opportunities in any bull market always come from the shiny new objects, not from the coins from the last bull market. I mentioned Casper and Casper is from this bull market, but it has already seen a lot of hype and excitement. So where does the biggest growth and excitement and hype come about? Well, we have to get in before the hype and excitement. And where do we get in before the hype and excitement? We get into new coins. And here's an example. This is BVM that launched on the 21st of March. And literally, a couple of weeks later, it's absolutely skyrocketed. From this dip down here, uh, it went all the way down here. It's now currently sat around 172% up. Zeus Network launched five days ago, had this nice pullback. From there, it rallied all the way up 65%. Currently, it's up around 33%. And these are the easiest, most perfect entries ever. And they're so easy to find. I've literally been buying these coins every day over the last few weeks, and very few of them haven't absolutely skyrocketed. And it's so simple. So what are all these coins that we've been talking about? Well, they're all brand new launches. How do I know? Well, look at this chart, guys. What happens on launch is this. Now, this price represents a price that you probably weren't able to access this project at. It was basically when the VCs and everyone was entering before, or maybe when it was on Seedify or Dowmaker or whatever else. The project then goes live and it rallies all the way higher. It goes up 231%. And then something happens. While you're getting excited and hyped because you followed a YouTube video about Zeus Network or something else, everyone who bought in down there is trying to sell as many of their Zeus tokens as they possibly can. And that's because they've been getting in through various different rounds at different prices throughout the life cycle of this token before it's even been available. Now, there are various different rounds through cryptocurrencies that you should probably understand, where you have things like a seed round, you have private rounds, public rounds, etc. A seed round is literally when a project is in concept mode. I can talk about what I want to do, the idea is there, and then hopefully I can bring a team together to make it happen. I need some money though, because I need to pay developers, I need to do other things. Our concept now becomes a product, 
that starts to look like maybe it's going to turn into something worthwhile and useful, at which point I then go out looking for more investment for a private round raise, which is at slightly less exciting of a price than this one because obviously there's less risk involved than there is investing in the seed round. And then you get to the public round, the ICOs and all that other good stuff. So all of these people then want to try and offload their money because it takes the risk out the game. And also if they've done like 20, 30x on launch, especially if it's on millions of dollars, then they're happy to take as much percentage out as possible, which always results in a pullback, as you can see, like this, which means we then want to come across to CryptoRank.io forward slash ICO. And we don't want to go on the brand new ones because the brand new ones will always pull back on us. We want to come up with the past IDOs and ICOs. You can keep your attention on the upcoming if you want, so you're ahead of the game. And when you have one that's done a launch and pulls back, then you're good to get in. But remember, don't get in on the time that that coin launches. Now, as we come down through, you can see that this is a bunch of past tokens. And you can see when they ended, and you can see a few coins like here, Zeus Network that we've been talking about. And I taught you the other day to just simply look at the total raise, which is here, the money raised, and look for coins with a good amount of money raised. I then said, you know, make sure they're in the right narrative, make sure you're in the right team, and a few other things. But here's the thing. Over the weekend, made a few phone calls to a few different people much higher up in crypto than myself. And these people working for some of the biggest brands in crypto fundraising. These are huge VCs, they're huge market makers who are worth millions, if not billions of dollars. But all of these people have access to being able to buy in to various different projects. And it's because, you know, a VC raises money and then they kind of give a bit of money to their friend to raise and whatever else. And I said, well, what is it that you're looking for in these crypto projects? And do you know what they said? They didn't say, well, I'm looking for the best project, I'm looking for this, and I'm looking for that. It wasn't as complex as that. All they're simply looking for is a few names of the right things on a website, and they're just going to ape into projects. And do you know why? Well, because although we love the fact that crypto is working and innovating towards new and exciting things, the market is overheated, which means it will always run on the hype and excitement and attention that a few key elements bring to any project. And it's this, it's who is backing the project, because that means the project must be good if it's being backed by certain VCs. And it's where the team came from, whether the team has experience working in crypto or at least something in and around the area that that project is launched and nothing more. So let's have a look at an example of this. Using this coming down through the total raises, we look at Zeus Network, a project that launched very quickly. Now, as we come down through, the first thing we want to look at is this, funds and backers. Now, what we want to do when we come down through is look for something very important. And it's this. You can see who basically gave the funds to this company when they were raising to get started. The latest funding rounds, you can see a few names here that are very much worth paying attention to. And remember, these names alone that are combined with the right entry, and I'll show you that later, that are going to give us the best opportunities out there. Animoca Brands is one of the biggest, particularly strong in backing gaming and other things in and around that area. Big Brain Holdings, a lot of focus towards AI type projects. OKX Ventures, obviously a big one as well. OKX Ventures is from the exchange OKX and will obviously back potentially more exciting projects. You've then got the Jupiter Launchpad. Jupiter itself has been blowing up recently. This all makes for a very exciting potential project. You then come down to Zeus Markets and you can see that they're on most of the major exchanges already. Obviously no Binance, but that's fine. They've got enough volume to be getting going. This is all very positive together. So to be honest, before I've even looked at a website and a Twitter account, this would have been a good entry would have been don't go and ape into it okay because we're going to talk about the charts later and how you can find the next one and the guys are literally coming out every day so you don't need to panic so the next thing if i'm a bit more selective is what i will find is this i'll go over to twitter i will look at zeus network and i'll have a look see who they're being followed by i'll see that they're followed by a lot of major influencers that i'm following that's a good sign you can come down below look at the first thing they've got on their twitter page they're very aware that this is probably the biggest thing that they've got behind them and it's the people who are behind them rather than what they do. Okay, so 
That's a very key thing. You can then come down below. You can see that they were voted for to be launched on Jupiter Exchange from the incubation program. That's another very positive sign because it means that they do already have a bit of excitement and attention all going on. So, so far, we've got two massive ticks in the box ready to go. And still, I have no idea what it does. And I know this will hurt like a few of the purists in crypto, but I would imagine that most of you are watching my videos because you want to make money, okay? If we want to make money, we need to understand that it isn't always about the most technical project or this project does that or this is going to change the future. That might be the case longer down the line, but in a very short, very hot running bull market, this is probably the secret source that no one else is talking about. So here we are, Bitcoin to Solana made seamless. Cross-chain communication layer built on SVM. Given the chart, if the chart was in the right place, which it's not, so don't, I would have been ready to ape into this. Why? Because Bitcoin is in a bull market and every Bitcoin associated project right now, layer 2s, BVMs and all that stuff, absolutely blowing up. And then add that with the fact that Solana is going bonkers and you've got a really hot looking project, okay? And you go through and you can find out how it works. And if you want, you can go and delve in deeper and find out more about making an investment. Now, typically what I'm saying is if you have the money to kind of access a lot of these different sales and maybe enter one to two every week, which if you go and check all the big wallets that we've been spying on recently, like in Nansen and whatever, is what they're literally doing where they're just aping into each one every single time. So maybe let's say I've got a few hundred dollars for this month, I would choose a hundred dollars each week to put into one. And you know, it's all very positive. Now, remember there was one other thing I said to talk about, the team, angel investors. The co-founder of Solana is an angel investor in this project. Andrew Kang, one of the biggest names in crypto, Muneeb Ali, co-founder of Stacks, another company that's absolutely booming right now. It's ridiculous, guys. It has everything on paper that is worth looking at. And yes, if you sat me down and said, how does this project work right now on this research? I don't know, but I know it's got all the keywords that we're looking for if we're looking to invest in a project in crypto that's going to do well, because projects in crypto do well mostly on the hype and excitement that is driven by the big names, the big backers, the team, you get the picture. So let's see what happens on a launch. Well, looking into this chart, you'll see that we have that big first candle. We then get the sell-off. So at each point of this chart, we want to think, and no one really sort of seems to think when people are like, I want to buy into this and I want to buy into this. No one seems to think about what is happening. We think, just simply think about what is happening in every moment of this chart life becomes incredibly easy. Zeus Network, or whatever it's called, has got a really great team, a lot of hype and attention. And when it has a good launch like that, it draws the attention towards it. What will happen is all of those backers, early backers are selling. So it means it will start to dump. It then dumps from this peak point down around 32%. Now, what you will obviously be aware of is this green box that I've been able to draw on this chart. How do I identify where to draw the first green box well simply this as the price is pulling back pulling back pulling back you will see that eventually the candles change from bearish ones which in this case are white into bullish ones which in this case are black okay as soon as that happens for the first time i want to draw myself a green box now what i'm doing is then waiting for it to come back into this zone and to start showing signs that it's going to get bought up again. I get this candle here, and this is a perfect opportunity for me to enter into this coin. What's the result of that? Well, it pumps out again, it comes back in, and then it gives us another chance. Does it mean that we're guaranteed to go here forever? Absolutely not. But the chances of it coming back lower than this, after being rejected going down in here multiple times, is very low. That makes Zeus a very exciting new project with a great opportunity for you to enter. And then pretty much from day one, unlike every other coin out there, you're almost guaranteed to be in the green, okay? Perfect. Amazing, right? And that's just one project. And it happens time and time again. Look, this is a slightly different one, but I want to show you the example. This is BVM, which I talked about on a video I made last week. And if you were subscribed, then you probably would have been able to ape in like a lot of my community did and be already up over 100%. So if you're not subscribed by now, I ask you why. And look what we did. The price falls back into this zone and it does it very quickly. 
it falls, it then starts to pick up. We draw our green zone, and yes, you could probably have entered somewhere around here, or if you were kind of thinking, well, maybe, you know, it's a bit too soon, maybe I can wait for a bit, or well, yeah, then I can get my entry here, or I can wait. The price pumps again, it pulls back into this zone, and then I can have an entry. And you will see, yes, at some point, the price does fall below our entry zone, and it comes back down around 20%. But then, after a period of time, it then breaks above this high. By entering into this green box zone, after having that initial push and pullback, and also obviously in understanding that this project, BVM, happens to be within that Bitcoin ecosystem, Bitcoin layer 2. And yes, obviously it helps that BVM or Bitcoin uh, virtual machine is built in the kind of right industry, right narrative for what's going on right now in the markets. Also has good backers. You can actually actively deploy this. It's a fully working product, unlike lots out there. It looks like a pretty good bet. So we then get our entry. Price comes back down. Eventually it breaks this trend. If you want, you can be more patient and come up with like, you know, I have to wait for it to kind of break the trend and have a pullback like it did here, which is when I actually entered. Uh, and then it pushes and then it carries on. The rest is history. And here's another one. Look. BFI, you can see BFI comes down, it starts to get bought up in this area, and you will notice that it does sometimes come down a little bit lower. But all I'm thinking is, my standardized entry on this, is it in the right narrative? Yes or no? And BFI again, within that kind of Bitcoin ecosystem narrative right now, is it in the right price zone? You can see around this area, it sort of pulls back in, it gets bought up a few times. So I have a good entry point, because after that, typically I would expect it to maybe do this, but it's fine. If it comes back in, at some point, I'm sat down, worst case, 20%. Eventually, it's on the move. I would anticipate from here that B5 starts to kind of run. You can see it's putting in a double bottom. Double bottom is pretty bullish. Maybe we then start to see B5 picking up. It would make sense for this to happen. Again, here's another one, Venom. Let me draw the box on the first pullback into this zone. Next time I get a re-entry, I'm happy to go. So all we need to do is this. Past IDO, ICO performance. Come down through the list. Find coins that appear to have a decent amount of money in terms of backing using crypto rank. Although it's not perfect, it's not gonna show you every time. And then you can find some things. So here's one, caught my eye. We got R Games. You can come across, you can click on the launch pads. You can see a few key names. Dowmaker, the biggest launch pad going. Gate.io startup, a few others in there. That's kind of healthy, good to know. I can see it's in games or game fi narrative. Interesting, I can go and find out more details. I can go and look at the chart. And what can I see from this chart? I can see that yet is it to have a decent pullback. So I just have to keep my eye on it. I can just put it into trading view, keep an eye on it, wait for it to have a pullback. If it pulls back into, let's say here, I draw my zone on, I set an alert, it pulls back out of here. If it comes back in here, after I've done all my due diligence, then I buy it. If it never gets there, I don't buy it. And here's one that's literally sat on a buy zone right now, okay? Gaming, a project that everyone was so hyped and excited about a couple of weeks ago when it was brand new to launch. It does a massive pump. It starts to drop back down into an area that people are interested in buying it. You can see the big money enters in this zone, gets back in this zone every time it's getting bought up. It's now sat in this zone again. It would make sense to me that at some point around this area, it starts to move. Maybe it goes lower, but right now in that green box, which is sat there, kind of 0.015, decent entry. In my opinion, obviously I could be wrong. So you can use Crypto Rank. Another great one to look at is CryptoFundraising.info. Okay, you can then go to VC Deal Flow and you can look through some of the different raises and things going on. Now, importantly, this. Lots of these projects right now are in fundraising zones, okay? So what you're really looking for is the ones that are having like strategic rounds or something like that. Because all the other ones are kind of too early on in the life cycle and you're not going to get anywhere near them. Today, launching on Seed. And what I want you to use for crypto fundraising is this over here, okay? Because this over here is going to tell you who the big dogs are when it comes to raising money for crypto projects. GSR. I click on GSR. I can see they've invested 115 projects and they're investing like 10, 20 million dollars each and every damn time they invest into a project. And they would have invested in some of the biggest names out there. Other big names, you've got Dragonfly invested in 129 different projects. My Shell, we invested in the other day. A few others here, you can see literally investing tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars each and every month into different projects. Going through the list, Sequoia, A16Z, Malstrom, and there are a few others. Pantera, 
okay and you can just go and find out all of the different investors you can literally click on investors and you can see who the names are okay there's not that many to go through go through some of these once you know all these big names you then know what you're looking out for on websites guys if people are backed by these names they're always on the first page of the website because you want to tell everyone you're backed by them and what makes that safer for you as an investor well these companies are not idiots okay they got some of the smartest minds out there in crypto out there investigating deep diving projects which makes it far easier for you even if you're inexperienced to kind of go and back similar projects so as promised let's find a project that could be of interest we already talked about our games which does look like it's kind of dipping into the right sort of zone and here's something i want to show you which is at the top of the list and it's planet mojo okay i did say that total raise was important to pay attention to and theoretically we would have just discounted this because it's too low but make sure you use crypto fundraising to cross reference this okay because planet mojo is down here 5.5 million animoca brands merit circle wow some of the biggest names out there talking about this project what is it okay so it's in the right narrative it's backed by some of the best names out there let's have a look at the twitter 427,000 followers project i've never even heard of has got followed by a load of other big names out there very heat to pay attention to click on the website coming down here you can see mojo melee prime game you know, you've got lots of other bits and pieces going on. You can see the game itself. You can get into the gameplay. You can play the game, which is a big thing. You can see it's won various different wards as a strategy game. It ticks all the boxes. I have literally just come across this. Couldn't be more straightforward. I would be shocked if a game like this doesn't do reasonably well in the bull market. And particularly in the short term, okay? You can see down below, we've got Transparent Team. You can find out more all about the team. Very key. They've got all their partners. You know, this is the landing page of a potentially winning project. This is how you found in the last bull market the likes of Gala. This is in the last bull market how you found the likes of Mana Decentraland. How you would have found things like Solana, okay? The biggest projects were all invested in early by people who were just doing this similar amount of research into things. Now, guys, if you want to find out in more detail and literally watch over my shoulder as I do this research, and I do it on a weekly basis on a Zoom call within the crypto vip league and all of these different projects and things that i'm talking about on my videos i'm already talking about in the league days in advance but it's not just me in there there's multiple other crypto experts who are running daily classes on things like day trading who are running other courses on airdrops and everything else what's most important as well is there's only 10 to 11 people who are allowed to post in this group so if you're sick and tired of seeing all that noise and all that hype and excitement all the time in groups and you just want the distilled crypto alpha coins and things that i'm buying and other people in the group are buying then make sure you get yourself into the crypto league the vip league which is linked down below in the description because you're literally losing out on thousands and thousands of dollars now let's jump back to mojo and let's have a look at what's going on here now as you can see the chart looks something scary to what many people would have seen you can see it dumped so far down around 78 79 percent which is obviously great to see you know you're like you've been taught by everyone it's not great to see it is very much great to see because you now have a potential for an entry if we can zoom down to one hour we can start to pay attention to a little more that's been going on with mojo mojo is starting to show us a zone of interest somewhere around this area here i can draw my box on sat around here about 0.417 this is a potential area we might want to pay attention to will it come lower who knows okay if you are a little bit more conservative maybe you want to wait for a bounce and see if you get the second bounce the second bounce would be a better entry of course than the first one because you never know whether it's going to continue to slide but all in all not a bad one now obviously guys these are newer launches i wouldn't necessarily be pulling all my money out of other crypto coins and shoving it into these but stop asking like how do I get an entry on this coin or that coin that's already been pumping for the last like six months or a year? If you didn't buy ICP at like three bucks or $2.90 or whatever, like we were buying last year, then why would you buy it at $17, which is nearly a 6x bigger than that? All these new coins have phenomenal opportunity to be some of the biggest gainers in the bull market. Do I know which one's going to be the biggest gainer? Absolutely not. But that's why I have a strategy where I can invest in them easily. I can understand what each of them does. And maybe I can put an amount to each and every one of them only takes one of them to do 100x if all the others are doing like a 5 to 10x then i'm golden but i'd be shocked if any of the projects from the last bull market do 100x in this bull market and that's talking about from the bottom of the last bear market and we're definitely far away from that so i'd say most of those other projects at best have got a 5 maybe a 10x in them guys i hope you enjoyed today's video i'm rambling sorry hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow in another video Bye bye